So SARS and MERS fizzled out much more quickly for a couple of reasons. We think it mainly has to do with severity. We know the case fatality rate for SARS was around 10%, and for MERS it was around 34%. And that meant that people who contracted the virus uh, exhibited symptoms and became quite severely ill quickly. They ended up in hospital where they could be isolated. And so there were just fewer cases of transmission between these people and well people in communities. In fact, a lot of the transmission events for both SARS and MERS happened in hospitals. The opposite is true for SARS-CoV-2. We know that we have a lot of people who are entirely asymptomatic, so never exhibit symptoms, or we know that there are people who are capable of transmitting virus in the few days leading up to when their symptoms begin. So we have lots of people walking around the community that are capable of transmitting virus, and so we don't know to isolate them. So it's made it much harder to shut down the trains of, chains of transmission. So even though the death rate is much lower, so anywhere from 1.8 to 3.4, depending on the community that we look at, the impact and the length of this epidemic are, are um, much more severe and much longer than SARS and MERS because of that capacity for the virus to silently be transmitting. And that's why we've got to make sure we wear our masks and we keep up our social uh, and physical distancing to try and reduce that transmission capacity, especially when we're unaware that we might be sick. Mm -hmm.